Hello everyone, welcome to another video in the tutorial series of WSO2's Enterprise Integrator. Today we are going to discuss proxy services. So proxy services are basically SOAP based web services. Though SOAP based web services has lost its charm to REST and GraphQL APIs, we still have quite a huge number of organizations using the SOAP services. There are still quite a number of legacy systems that's supporting only SOAP based web services. So it is still relevant, right? So let's let's get started. I'm going to create a Maven multi-module project by right clicking on the project folder. So right click and select new and then click on other. Here you can just type Maven multi-module to select a Maven multi-module project. So clicking on next and I'm going to leave the group ID as is, and the artifact ID is going to be sample 8 and this is the normal um, there's a naming convention that I've been following for this tutorial series so I'm just giving a name as sample 8 and click on finish so that's our Maven multi-module project created now our next step is to create an ESB config project so I'm just right clicking on the sample 8 project click on new and then select ESB config project so that gives me a prompt to create a new uh, project. So click on new ESB config project. That's that's a default option selected. Click on next and give it a name. So I'm going to give sample proxy as the name of my proxy service. Click on next. And here I have to link my ESB project to the parent project. So from the drop down, I'm selecting sample eight, which is going to be the parent project for our sample proxy clicking on finish so that's the basic skeleton of our ESB config project now you can see a set of folders created by default navigate through these folders and then you can find quite a number of folders and then in this video we'll be focusing on the proxy services so to create a proxy service right click on the proxy services and then select new click on proxy service here again the default option is to create a new proxy service if you already have a proxy service created and if you want to import it to this particular project then you can select the import option and then import the proxy service now moving ahead click on next now here I have to give a name for my proxy service I'm just gonna give a name sample proxy SRV now under the service type yep you have a number of options it's actually a drop-down and you can find a number of options here so here custom proxy is a default one which is flexible in the sense custom proxy just creates a, a proxy service skeleton and then then it allows you to add whatever mediators you want at the same time all the remaining ones are meant for a purpose like for example if it's a pass-through proxy then it allows you to enter a backend URL and once you select the proxy it has everything it is required to create a proxy service which means what is remaining is you just need to deploy that right but here I'm going to go with custom proxy similarly if you have or if you need to expose a Vistal based service then you have the Vistal based option Vistal based proxy option and this gives you an option to import your Vistal and then proceed further for the purpose of this demo I'll go with custom proxy so I have selected that now this transport here by default HTTP and HTTPS are selected I will be using only HTTP so I just unchecking the HTTPS option then click on finish and this creates your proxy service now this service is going to be a pure pass through whenever it gets a request it will echo that request or rather pass the request to a backend uh, soap service and the response it gets from the backend it will be passed on to the consumer so it's, it's going to be a pure pass through service let's see how to configure that the first thing required is to have a sent mediator here so from the palette from the palette I'm going to select a sent mediator this mediator will allow us to send your request to a backend endpoint but this configuration is not complete 
Now we have to select an endpoint as well. So from the endpoints, I'm going to select address endpoint and drag it to drag it inside the send mediator. Now I have to configure the address endpoint. Yeah. So before we go on to configuring the address endpoint, here uh, the backend endpoint is going to be a mock service exposed on SOAP UI. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm using a mock service exposed on SOAP UI. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you that. This is going to be the mock response I'm going to get from the backend endpoint. So our backend endpoint is going to be uh, this particular URL. Yeah, so if I click on the mock service, you will be able to see. So this, this is going to be the URL, calculator SRV, and it is exposed on port 8088. So that's the endpoint we are going to configure here. Click on address endpoint and click on the properties. Yeah, the format I'm leaving it as it is because it's a SOAP request coming in. So I'll pass the SOAP 1.1 or 1.2, the backend, the format. Here in the URI section, I'm going to configure HTTP colon, then localhost, and it is going to be 8088 slash calculator SRV. Now that's my backend endpoint. Now once I get the response back from the backend service i need to echo it back to the consumer so for that purpose i have to configure a send mediator in the response flow so in wso2's world it is called as an out sequence so this is the in sequence and this is going to be the out sequence and that completes the configuration of our sample proxy which is a pure pro pass through proxy yeah save the project now next step is to create a car file so for that, I'm going to create a carbon application project. Again, right click on the sample 8 project and click on new, click on other and select a composite application project. Select the composite application project, click next. I'm going to give a name sample 8 underscore car. And from here, I'm going to select the sample proxy and this is going to be the artifact that's going to be added to sample 8 underscore card file click on next and here I'm, I'm going to link my card file or rather the composite application project to the parent project so from here I have to select sample 8 that completes our carbon application projects now save and we are ready to deploy now you can see a local instance of enterprise integrator running here uh, currently it is in stop status I'm going to start it right click and then click on start as you can see the enterprise integrator started now you can see the status here so we can deploy the card file so right click on the enterprise integrator click on add and remove and this will display the available card files in your workspace so we have only sample 8 car here click on that click on the add button and click on finish to complete the deployment you can see a message in the console that this the car file was deployed successfully now let's validate uh, this by invoking the service from SOAP UI so I'm in the admin console now to get the URL of the service I'm clicking on the and the services list yeah this this is the sample proxy service that we have just uh, deployed click on that and this will give you uh, the URL of the service so that's the URL of the service now I'm going to copy this URL to SOAP UI yeah, so this is going to be the URL I'm just replacing it with our URL and submit see we have got the response so that's the uh, proxy services in action we just sent a request to our proxy servers and then from the mock uh, service that we set up in the SOAP UI we got a response and our proxy service echoed it back to us. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like the contents being published in this channel, please do subscribe. Please feel free to share your feedbacks with me either as an email or, as, uh, or in the comment section. Thank you so much. Happy learning and have a wonderful day.